I like about today, B2? Everything, B1? Everything, B2. Ooh. Ooh! But I especially like the flowers. They are beautiful. <laughs> oh. You know what we should do, B2? Pick some flowers and take them home? That's exactly it, B2. <laughs> you know what else we should do, B1? Pick some more flowers so we can share them with our friends. That's exactly it again, B1. <coughs> now to find a friend to give the flowers to, B2. <coughs> we should give the flowers to a special friend, B1. But all our friends are special, B2. Right. So maybe we should give them to someone who really likes flowers. Good idea. Hi, Bernardis. Good, Good morning, morning Topsy. Topsy. I love those flowers. Look at all those colours. Oh, they smell so nice. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's flowers for a friend time. These are for you, Topsy. <gasps> for me? Oh, no. I, I, I can't take your flowers from you. Yes, you can. These are for a friend. And you're that friend. Wow! Thanks, Bananas! Our beehive looks like it's full. Mmm, full of honey. The bees have been busy all spring, collecting nectar from flowers. And more nectar means more honey for me. Uh, and you too. Hello, Hello teddies! Look at my beautiful flowers. <gasps> They're so pretty. And they smell terrific. Where did you get them? The bananas gave them to me. We just had to pick some and share them with our friends. Oh, these are for me. Well, uh... Oh, bananas. That's so nice of you. The thing is, Amy... What good friends you both are. <laughs> they are for you, Amy. Thank you, bananas. So, no flowers for us? Aren't we your friends too? Um, um... Of course you're our friends. Two of our very best friends. And there are flowers for you. We just have to get them right, right away. away. I'll pick some for Lulu, B2. And I'll pick some for Morgan, B1. Then all our friends will be happy. Hey! Hi, bananas. Good morning, Pedro. Great flowers. Glad you like them. They're a gift for our friends. Gee, thanks. That's so nice. Thanks, Pedro. What's so nice? Uh, giving me a gift. They are for me, aren't they? Well... Um... Or maybe they're not for me. Maybe I'm not a good enough friend. You're a great friend, Pedro. And these flowers are for you. Thanks, Bananas. Will I never? Never, ever. Flowers for Pedro. But not for us. We love flowers too. Or aren't we good enough friends to deserve them? Of course you're good friends, Camembert. Two of the best friends we could want. And we do have flowers for you, Camembert. And for you too, Dolly. We just have to go pick them. Right now. <laughs> We still need flowers for Amy and Morgan. And now we need flowers for Dolly and Camembert too. Otherwise our friends won't think they're our friends anymore. And what about our other friends, B1? Like Rat. And Charlie. And Bernard. Oomph! This will be a big job, B2. We need to be prepared. Right. I'll get a barrow, B2. And I'll get one too, B1. We need lots of flowers, B2. Because we have lots of friends, B1. Wow! <sighs> 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 
flowers for you, Cameron Bear. How lovely, B1. Flowers for you, Dolly. How delightful, B2. Sorry, can't stop. Have to go. Flowers, flowers for from everyone. Are those bunches of flowers bigger than the bunch I got? I wouldn't be surprised, Pedro. Dolly and I are very good friends of the bananas. Very, very good friends. <laughs> Is that it, B2? That's it, B1. Every one of our friends has flowers. No one missed out. Oh. Oh, we don't have any flowers. What should we do, B2? Go and pick some more, B1. Right. There we are, B1. Our friends have flowers. And we have flowers. Good morning, B2. Good morning, B1. I am so hungry, B2. Breakfast's coming up, B1. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> What's happened, B2? They're all droopy. We must have waited too long to put them in water. Not to worry. We can go out and get some more. And maybe a few extra, in case any of our friends' flowers have drooped too. Good idea, B1. Nice, fresh flowers. Here we come. Whoa! Hello, bees. It's me, Amy. Can you spare us a little honey, please? <laughs> oh, it's OK. If you don't want me to take any, I won't. Why are you so angry? The bananas? You're angry at the bananas? Oh, no! The bananas are in serious trouble! Where should we start, B2? Wherever you like, B1. Whoa! What happened to the flowers, B2? I think we picked them all, B1. And did we make this big mess of the field? I think we did, B1. Are you buzzing, B2? I thought you were buzzing, B1. I'm not buzzing. Then who's buzzing? Aha! Uh -huh. The, the bees, bees are buzzing. That buzz doesn't sound very happy. Not very happy at all. Is something wrong, bees? Us? Are you unhappy with us? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's, it's run fast time! <laughs> Good morning, Good morning, Topsy. Topsy. Hey, those flowers you gave me, they were all droopy this morning. Yeah, we know. That's why we were getting more flowers. But we couldn't. Why not? There's why. Bees! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Bananas, I want to talk to you. We've got a problem, Rat. Just look at these droopy flowers you gave me. We've got a bigger problem than the droopy flowers. We've got a bee problem. Bees? What bees? Oh, those bees. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be uh, <laughs> somewhere else. There's only one thing to be done. We have to talk. Bananas to bees. Uh, uh hello, bees. How are you today? Uh, uh, angry. angry. I'm here to help, Bananas. Thank you, Amy. We need all the help we can get. Please tell us what's upsetting you. Flowers? Like the ones we picked. <gasps> Is this about the Bananas picking flowers? Thumbs up. I've got it! Bees collect nectar from flowers. No flowers means no nectar, which means no honey. So, by picking their flowers, 
We were taking away the bees' food. We only wanted to share the flowers. We're so sorry, bees. What can we do to make the bees happy? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. Instead of picking flowers, we'll plant flowers. Is that OK? I think that means yes, bananas. It's flower planting time! Much as I like flowers at home, I like them even better in the fields. Wild flowers should be left to grow naturally. We know that now. Oh, we won't pick them again. We didn't help you either, Bananas. We shouldn't have made you give us all those flowers. And we won't do it again either. Are we doing a good job, B? That buzz sounds like a yes. To show that there are no hard feelings, Bananas, the bees have a present for you. Honey! And you know what that means? Lots of munchy honey cakes. For all our friends. When can we have them, Bananas? Just as soon as we finish planting these flowers, Morgan. So let's get planting! Yay! One more piece, B2. One more it is, B1. Another great fix-it job, B2. Just one of many great fix-it jobs, B1. Hmm, I have just one small question, B2. What's that, B1? Do you think we use too much black tape to fix things? I hadn't thought of that. Maybe we should take a look. I think you're right, B1. There's black tape everywhere. But how can we fix things if we don't use black tape? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. We have to learn about fixing things properly. And there's one person who can tell us all we need to know. It's Let's Visit Charlie time. After you, B1. After you, B2. Thank you! Oh, uh, uh, after you again, B2. Oh, thanks, B1. <laughs> you want me to teach you, Bananas? You're the best fixer we know, Charlie. You can teach us all about how to fix things properly. Without having to use lots of black tape all the time. I'd love to teach you about repairing things, Bananas. Jama Rama! We knew you'd help us. And there's no better time for your first lesson than right now. banana -rific. Let's start with the basic tools you need for repairing things. The screwdriver, the spanner and the hammer. Pajama-tastic! Now let's get fixing. Thank you, Charlie. But, uh, uh, but bananas! Bye, Charlie! Bananas, wait! Oh, dear. Now, where did I put that phone? Now that we have the right tools, we can fix anything. And we can fix things for our friends, too. I know. Why don't we visit the teddies? Yes, they must need something fixed. And we can do it for them. Do you see that, B1? I see it, B2. Amy! Hello, Bananas. This is your lucky day, Amy. Is it? We'll have that fixed in no time. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Uh, uh, what are you fixing? This wobbly wheel, of course. It will wobble no more. But that wheel's always wobbled. It's no problem. And it never will be a problem. Not after we fix it. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Bananas? You bet. These are Charlie's special tools. We've just been to his place for a lesson. There you go, Amy. Try it out. OK. Hey! It doesn't wobble. 
another great fix-it job. By the Fix-It Bananas. Thanks, Bananas. Our, Our pleasure, pleasure, Amy. Let's find more things to fix, B1. Right with you, B2. Morgan's always got stuff that's broken. But it won't be broken for much longer. Morgan! Gosh, the bananas really did fix this wheel. Uh, well, I think they did. Let us do that, Lulu. Because that's a fixing job. What do you mean, Bananas? Hmm, this stand is all shaky. You don't want to paint on a shaky stand. But, Bananas, it's shaky because you're shaking it. It won't be shaky after we fix it. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Are you sure this will work, Bananas? Nothing could be easier, Lulu. Just leave it to us. There you go. See? No more shakes. Oh, that does seem better. All in a day's fixing. For the Fix-It Bananas. Thank you so much, Bananas. Where did I put that phone? Aha! I knew you were in here somewhere. Hello? Morgan, how are you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. I'll be over straight away. <laughs> now that we've helped our friends, B2, it's time to do some fixing for ourselves, B1. Lulu, stop. Did the bananas fix anything for you? Oh, yes. And they did a great job. No, they didn't. What? Anything the bananas fix doesn't stay fixed. It just gets worse. Oh, dear. I thought this might happen, and it's my fault. The bananas said that you gave them a lesson in fixing things, Charlie. I did, but I didn't. Uh, they were so excited about our first lesson, they didn't stay for the lesson. But they did a good job on my easel. They fixed your easel? All done, B1. Fixed to perfection. Everything's like new again. And we fixed it without any big black tape. There's only one thing we need to do now. Find a use for all this black tape. Hmm. Bananas! That's the teddies. Maybe they have more things for us to fix. Great! Bananas! That's Charlie. Huh, he must want to see what his best fixing students are doing. Then let's let them in. Bananas! Stop your work! No more fixing! There is no more fixing! Because we fixed everything! Everything? Everything that needed fixing is fixed! Bananas, be very quiet. And slowly walk to the door. Don't make any sudden movements. Is this a game? A fun game? No questions, Bananas. Just leave the house quickly. But why? What's happening? What's wrong with our house? It's your fixing, Bananas. Nothing you fix stays fixed. But we use Charlie's special tools. Why did things go wrong? Because learning to fix things properly takes lots of time and training. It does? It does. And we didn't spend enough time. You didn't. Or learn enough lessons. Correct. We're sorry. It's OK, Bananas. Everything can be fixed and we'll help fix it. And while we do it, I'll give you lots of lessons about how to fix things properly. Oh, thanks, Charlie. 
And you too, Teddies. Then we'll really be the Fix-It Bananas. I suggest that we all start bright and early tomorrow morning. But before we do that... You're all invited to afternoon tea in our back garden. It's our special way of saying thank you. See you all in one hour. Wow, Bananas. This looks terrific. Splendid indeed. What delicious food. Thanks, everyone. Come and eat. Thanks, Thanks Bananas. bananas. Is this table strong enough for all this food? It should be. We fixed it only last week. You what? <laughs> that was close. We could have had the worst accident ever. But we saved everything. <laughs> Oops. Now we remember. We fixed those chairs too. Sorry. Oh, bananas! Possum be one. Hello, Hello possum. <coughs> oh, sorry we woke you. We're picking apples for our story time tonight. The teddies and rat are coming over and reading us a story. <coughs> oh no! <coughs> Hang on, possum! <coughs> Don't let go! Oh, sorry about that, possum. We'll be more careful next time. <coughs> You want to know about tonight? And what story we'll have? Uh, we don't know yet, but it's probably got elves and fairies in it. And gnomes and goblins. It'll be Jamarama! <laughs> we better get going. We have to get everything ready. Oh, oh sorry, B2. No problem, B1. Bye, possum! <laughs> That should do it, B2. Everything's ready for story night, B1. Some fruit and some juice. And the story for Lulu to read. Pixies. Elves. Gnomes. <gasps> Goblins. Oh, that must be the teddies now. And Rat. Hi, everyone. Uh, hello? I'm sure someone knocked B2. But no one's here, B1. The back door. We're at the wrong door, B1. Let's go. Uh, B2? B1, why are you out there? You shut me out, B2. Oh, sorry, B1. After you, B1. <laughs> Thanks, B2. Hello! Hello? No one's here either, B1. This is very strange, B2. I'm sure someone was knocking. Knocking? Just like that? Oh! The knocking is upstairs, B2. Oof! Now it's coming from that wall. It's moving all through the house. I think we should move too. Look out, bananas! What a commotion! What? 
What's up, bananas? <laughs> Inside. N -n knocking. Knocking. N -n -n knocking. Oh, we do need a little more explanation than that, bananas. <laughs> There's lots of knocking inside our home. But, but, but we don't know what's making it or who's making it. How extraordinary. We'd better hear this knocking for ourselves. We'll find out what it is. A fabulous idea. Let's all go in and discover what these noises are about. Lead on, rat. Um, uh, why don't you go first, Teddies? I just need to, to, to polish my shoe. This rat is not interested in strange noises. Not interested at all. Rat, where are you going? Come on, we're all waiting for you. Oh, cheese and whiskers. There's no noise in the kitchen, Bananas. And there's no sound from inside the wall. And I couldn't hear any strange sounds from upstairs. Excellent. I knew it was a lot to fuss about nothing at all. But there is scratching. Scratching. And there's the knocking. Knocking. Now do you believe us? We do, Bananas. Look. Ah! Ah! This rat is out of here. Ah! This is silly. We shouldn't be scared of a few little noises. But what's making them? And why? Well, if you ask this rat, and I'm sure you were just about to, I'd say it could only be one thing. What thing, rat? You must have a spooky in your house. A spooky? What else could it be? Uh, uh, but there's no such thing as spookies. How do you know? Well, because... Uh, uh, because... Uh, Lulu? Spookies only exist in stories. That's why. Have you ever seen a spooky rat? Uh, no, they only come out at night. Only when they think you're asleep. These spookies sound a bit naughty, B2. <gasps> Very naughty, B1. All right, Rat. If you're right, we know what to do then. We'll stay the night with the bananas. I, I suppose you want me to stay too? You are the spooky expert, Rat. <laughs> so I am. Oh, oh, double cheese and whiskers. This is great, B2. First we discover a mystery knocker and scratcher. And now we have all our friends coming for a sleepover. pajama -rific! Isn't this fun? It's just like camping, but inside. And since we came back, we haven't heard a thing. If there were spookies, they must have left. But what do you think, spooky expert? Uh, well, uh, spookies are very tricky, you know. They might just be having a bath or eating dinner. Or maybe they're not even real. Or not even. Of course they're real. They're probably sleeping, that's all. <sighs> Sleep. That's a good idea. I'm with you, Morgan. We're two tired bananas. Ready for bed. I'll turn the lights off. Leave the lamp on, Morgan. Just in case the spooky wakes up. Good thinking, Rat. Then we'll see it. <sighs> I'm sorry we didn't read the story tonight, Bananas. That's all right, Lulu. It's great to have you all staying with us. Nighty-night, everyone. Good night. Sometimes when we've said good night, and the hands turned out the light On the wall we see the features Of some sneaky spooky creatures But we know we can feel That they're not really really real Oh silly shadows in the dark Go and play out in the park Cause you won't trick us no big surprises and you won't be there when we open our eyes so silly shadows in the dark go away you're not real i see it i see it what is it what do you see a spooky uh. 
that's not a spooky rat. That's the shadow of the curtains. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so it is. I saw shadows. Me too. But they were just shadows. They weren't spookies. We see spookies. Two of them. Where? There. <laughs> <laughs> They're no spookies. They're bananas. Bananas? It is us. <laughs> you thought you saw spookies. But it was just your imaginations. <laughs> so it was. Lucky you turned on the lights, Morgan. Uh, but I didn't turn on the light. But if you didn't turn on the light, who did? Spookies! <laughs> <laughs> We've got the key. Then give it to me. Ah, uh, we've lost the key. Spooky! <laughs> What's happening? Who's doing it? The spookies are squeaking. What sort of spooks squeaks? <laughs> that squeaking B1. We know that squeaking B2. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's ladder time! Be careful, Bananas. Oh, cheese and whiskers. Oh, what if they do find a spooky? What do you see, Bananas? Any spookies? No. But we do see a friend. <laughs> a, a possum? possum? All those noises were made by our possum friend. Why did she do that? She came into our roof so she could listen to our story tonight. <laughs> but she got herself trapped and she was trying to tell us so we could rescue her. <laughs> she says thank you for your help. I knew there was a good explanation for all those strange sounds. You see, Rat? <laughs> of course I see. I knew all along that it wasn't a spooky. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. This rat is far too smart to worry about silly things like spookies. <laughs> spookies? <laughs> Who'd believe in such things? Not me. <laughs> spookies! Help! Help! Oh, that silly rat in the hat! Ready, Teddies? Come out and play. Time for a game. Our favourite game. Five-a-side banana ball. Here we are, bananas. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, B1. No problem, B2. Let's go and play. Hold on, Morgan. If you want to play five-a-side banana ball, then you need five players, right? Right. But we've only got four. Four? four? One, two, three, four. Someone's not here, B1. Let's find out who it is, B2. Right. Hands up if you're here. Hands up if you're not here. Um, Bananas, you can't put your hand up if you're not here. That's right. If you could put your hand up, then you'd be here. Got it? No. no. But it's all right, Lulu. We know who's not here. Amy! Amy. Hello! I need someone to help me. Sure, Topsy. What's up? Well, my cousin Wally sent me a new board game, but I can't figure out the rules. And I know how good you teddies are with these sort of things. No problems, Topsy. We'd love to help. You go and get Amy Bananas and we'll meet you in the park in an hour. Right! Lead the way, Topsy. Thanks, teddies! Come on, B1. After you, B2. After you, B1. Thank you! Oof! After you again, B2. Thanks, B1. <coughs> Amy! Come on! It's time to play! Sorry, Bananas. I'm too busy to play. Have fun! What? Aren't you coming? I'd love to, Bananas. But look at all the jobs I have to do. Weed the garden, paint the shed, 
bed, sweep the floor, clean the windows, pick up the leaves. But how come you've got so many jobs, Amy? Because I didn't do everything I was supposed to do last week or the week before that. You didn't? I was having so much fun reading my books, I just forgot. So now I have to make up for it and do all the jobs I should have done then. Oh. Poor Amy. This is a big lot of jobs to do. Goodness me! If Amy's list is as long as you say, then it sounds like she's got jobs galore. Jobs galore? That means she's got a lot of them. Do you think you can help? Don't worry, Bananas. You've come to the right place. I've got some ideas. Hello, Amy. Bananas, what are you doing here? We're going to help you to get your jobs done. You are? And we've got everything we need from Charlie. See? Uh, oh, thanks, Bananas. That's really very kind. Our pleasure, Amy. But maybe I should just finish the jobs myself. That will take too long. And we've got games to play and fun to be had. And besides, we like helping our friends. Well, oh, all right then. Right, B2, what's the first job on the list? I'll have this floor swept in no time. And I'll get some water in my bucket. Careful with that big broom, B2. Don't worry, Amy. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, sorry. I'll sweep that up right away. Help, help, floor, help. Oh. Ah. Who turned out the lights? Watch where you're going, B2. I'm trying. I've got my soapy water. Now to wash the floor. Ah. Look out, B2. Look out for what? <laughs> oh, hang on, B1. <laughs> Look out, B2. <laughs> Did we make all that mess, B1? I'm afraid we might have, B2. Bananas! This will take forever to clean up. Don't worry, Amy. We'll clean it all up for you. No, it's OK. You've done plenty already. I'll just clean it up myself. Thanks. Sorry, Amy. What's our next job, B1? Uh, painting the shed, B2. That's going to take a very long time. Not with Charlie's super paint squirters. Then let's get squirting. Get ready. Get set. Bananas! Huh? Oh. I think we'd better find some other thing to help Amy with, B2. I think you're right, B1. I know! We can tidy up the leaves in the garden! Great idea, B2! And we've got just the thing to do it! Just plug it in and turn it on! And I'll turn it up to super suck so it sucks up the leaves even more quickly! We'll have this garden tidy in no time! B1? I'll turn it off, B2! Now what's happening? I think you've turned it too far! It's gone from suck to blow! <laughs> Thanks, Amy! Bananas! Look at what's happened to our yard! Oops! You said you wanted to help, but you've only made things worse. We'll help you clean it up, Amy. No, the best help you can do for me, Bananas, is give no more help. Oh. Hi, Bananas. Where's Amy? She's, uh, uh she's, she's back at your place still. Still? She's doing her jobs. And we just gave her more jobs to do. More jobs? More. What are they talking about, Lulu? I don't know, Morgan, but we need to find out. Huh? What's all this? Wow. I've seen some mess before, but this is the messiest. It's even messier than my bedroom. Let's go and find Amy. Amy? What's going on? The bananas tried to help me to do my jobs. It doesn't look like they were very good at it. They weren't. The house is worse than ever. What's this? 
the jobs I didn't do over the last couple of weeks while I was reading my books. It's good that you want to catch up, Amy, but you don't have to do them all today. I just thought it'd be a good idea to get everything done in one big go. It might sound good, but too much work is as bad as too much play. It's much better to do both every day. I know that now, especially after the bananas tried to help. And it's going to take all three of us to clean up this huge mess. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! Ah, bananas! I trust the tools worked successfully. The tools were tops, Charlie. Very tops, Charlie. <laughs> but you look so sad, bananas. Did something go wrong? Everything went wrong. Everything? Whenever we tried to help Amy, we just made things worse. Now she's really cross with us. We've made one of our best friends really sad. Oh dear, that's no good. No good at all. That's it. That's everything done. Oh, thank goodness. I'm pooped. <clears throat> Excuse me, Teddies. Hello, Charlie. What brings you here? I just wanted to explain. Those tools that caused all the mess today... Yes? Well, <laughs> it was me who told the bananas to use them. So if you're going to be angry at anyone, you should really be angry with me. Angry? We're not angry. But the bananas think you're angry. The, the bananas? That's terrible. What should we do? It's easy. I'll just say sorry to them. The bananas might have made a mess, but they were really trying to help. And then we'll do the number one thing anyone can do with their friends. Uh, what's that, Teddies? Play! Yay! You know the best thing about doing jobs, bananas? No, Amy. What's that? When the jobs are all done, you get to play afterwards. And we all love playing, right? Right! Especially five-a-side banana ball. Wait a minute. There's only four of us. Four? four? Amy's right. See? One, two, three, four. Hands up if you're here. Now, hands up if you're not here. Um, it could be... Me! <laughs> Tricked you! <laughs> Good one, Morgan! You're thrown! And you have to say who should catch it. Right. I say the catchers should be our very best friends. The, the bananas. bananas! Go, Bananas! <laughs> I've got it! I've got it too! Oh. We've, We've got, got it! it. What is it you want? Uh, we wanted to talk to Rat. Has he gone away somewhere? Gone? Well, don't you know who I am? Do you know B1? I don't know B2. They don't recognise me. 
I could have some fun with this. <coughs> oh, uh, yes. I'm afraid Rat's gone away on, uh, on a holiday. A holiday? Uh, that's right. And he left me in charge of the shop. I'm his aunt. But I, I, I mean, uncle. Oh, Rat's uncle. You even look a bit like Rat. Do I? No, no not, not really. really. Is that a crown? You're not a, a king, are you? Oh, <laughs> heavens no. I'm just a prince. A, a prince? prince? Yes, I'm a, a prince rat from Rat Lavachia. A real prince. Pajama Rama. Oh, calm down, calm down. But we've never had a prince here before. We have to tell the teddies be too. Come on. Wait, bananas. I was only having a joke. Hi, bananas. Teddies, there's a prince in Cuddles Avenue. He's Rat's uncle, Prince Rat from Ratlovakia. <gasps> Are you sure, Bananas? Yes, he's got a robe and a crown and everything. Let's go and see him. Yes, let's. Cheese and whiskers? What's the big hurry? Oh, it's only you, Rat. Back from holidays already. Holidays? Oh, oh, oh there. Uh, now, let me explain. Has Prince Rat gone away? Well, yes, in a manner of speaking, but... Oh, no. We were going to invite him to a special welcome lunch. With lots of yummy food. A special lunch. But if he's already gone, we'll have to cancel it. Oh, no! Don't do that! Uh, prince Rat is uh, at the back. Oh, the prince is still here. Can we meet him then? Of course! I'll uh, just go and wake him. Don't move! Uh, wake up, Uncle Prince! Uh, you've got visitors! There. Oh, sorry. I can't get through the day without my princely snooze. Pleased to meet you, Prince Rat. Please, just think of me as an ordinary rat. Your princeness, we want to invite you to a special lunch. To welcome you to Cuddlestown. Oh, oh how kind. And of course, Rat's invited too. Uh, Rat? You know, your nephew. Oh, that rat. But he's uh, already gone back on holiday. See, there he goes now. Can you see him, B1? Not really, B2. Look, he's waving. Oh, wave, everyone. Bye, rat. Bye. 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 See you later, rat. rat. What a pity he can't come. But you'll be there, won't you, Prince? I wouldn't miss it for anything. Great. We'll start preparing now. So he's from Ratlovakia, you say? Where is that exactly? Uh, do you know B1? Who cares where he's from? He's a handsome prince. That's him, B1. After you, B2. No, after you, B1. All, All right, right, then. then. Oh! Welcome to our humble home, Prince Rat. No need to bow that low, Bananas. Prince, we'd like you to meet Bernard, Charlie and Topsy. Pleased to meet you, you Prince, Prince Rat. Rat. Charmed, I'm sure. Please sit down, your ratness. Ah, lunch! <laughs> Something wrong, Prince? Oh, this chair is a little hard on my royal bottom. <gasps> Quick, get the Prince a cushion! A cushion, B1? Cushion coming up, B2. Here you are, Prince. <sighs> Much better. Oh, and this food looks delicious. Have some cheesecake, Mr. Prince. Only one. Let's see. Munchy honey cakes, yellow jelly, chocolate cake. Oh, yum. Mm. Does the Prince seem a bit greedy, B1? Perhaps princes just get hungrier than normal people, me too. <laughs> yeah, I may have eaten a tad too much. He's asleep, B1. 
On the table, B2. That can't be very comfortable. Quick, get the prince another cushion. Another cushion, B1. <laughs> Here it is, B2. I'll lift his princely head and you slide it under, B1. <gasps> oh, I've ripped the prince's whiskers off, B1. Oh, dear. Just a minute. He's not a prince. He's just rat, all dressed up. Look! You're right. He's no prince from Ratlavakia. Oh, oh, that rat, rat in a hat. hat! He tricked us again. Pity we can't trick him back. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's Trick Rat Back Time! Is everything ready? All ready, Bananas! Then let's wake up Rat, B2. OK, his whiskers are back on. Now... Wakey, wakey, Prince Rat! <laughs> Sorry, Prince, but we've got something very special planned in the garden. Dear Prince Rat, please join us in the Cuddles Avenue welcoming ceremony! What's that? You're about to find out your rattiness. First put on this special hat for the guest of honour. Uh, what's the bowl for? To catch the mud pies we throw. I have to catch mud pies in my hat. Yes, while you're dancing. It's traditional. Cheese and whiskers. Is the sand ready? Sand's ready, bananas! What's the sand for? To sprinkle over you during the dance. Stop the music, Morgan. Dance, Prince. Dance! Hip, hip, hooray. Let's give three cheers. Close off your ears to the sighs and tears. Come on and laugh. Be hail and hearty. Join us. Prince Rat? I have to get back to my shop. I, I mean, my nephew's shop. Well, you can't leave now. You'll miss the best part. You mean there's more? Now we cover you in old feathers. And give you a bath in pond slime. Feathers? Pond slime? Can you stay? I I'm terribly sorry, but the truth is, I don't need a welcoming ceremony. Why not? Because... I'm not really a prince. I'm just ordinary old rat in a hat. See? We knew that already. You knew. So this whole ceremony... Was a big joke. To pay you back for tricking us. <laughs> and you look so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know I shouldn't have tricked you, but it was such fun being a prince for a day. You should all try it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's Prince, Prince for a Daytime! Why don't you come over to my place and I'll treat you exactly like kings and queens. Here you go, Mom. Thank you, Rat. How do I look? Oh, magnificent, Princess Amy. Look, Rat, we're Prince Banana 1 and Prince Banana 2. And I'm Princess Topsy. Now we should have a special prince and princess's welcome lunch. But where would we find one? At our place. I mean, our castle, of course. You mean there's still enough food left? Heaps. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> Everything's turned out well after all. Wait for me! <laughs> And three, and four, I win. No, not again. Congratulations, Morgan. <sighs> it's time for bed, everyone. But I'm not tired yet. <sighs> then why are you yawning? I'm not yawning. Not much, anyway. Hmm. <sighs> 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 
Okay, toys, time for bed. That's funny. Where's Kevin? Kevin! Where are you? What's wrong? It's Kevin, my fluffy buddy. He should be on the pillow with my other toys, but he's gone. Oh, don't worry, Morgan. He'll be around somewhere. He's not. And I can't go to sleep without him. Let's look. He's not on the sofa. He's not under the sofa. Oh, he's lost. We're never going to find him. I'm sure we'll find your bunny tomorrow. Tomorrow? But I can't go to sleep without Kevin. What a quiet night, B1. Quiet and peaceful, B2. I want my fluffy bunny! Did you hear that, B1? Someone sounds upset at the Teddy's house. Hello, Amy. Amy. Bananas, what brings you here so late? Uh, we heard a noise. Is everything all right? No, Kevin is missing. Poor Kevin, that's terrible. Uh, who is Kevin? A pink fluffy bunny. And I can't go to sleep without him. This is even more serious than we thought, B2. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's Detective Bananas time! Wait here, Teddies. Where are you going? To change into our special detective clothes. The Detective Bananas are on the case, Morgan. Just lead us to the scene of the crime. Kevin should be on my pillow, but he's not. Hmm. What do you think, Detective B2? Hmm. I think... He's definitely not on the pillow, Detective B1. So where is he? Don't worry, Morgan. We'll find Kevin for you. The Detective Bananas always get their bunny. Now, do you have a photo of the missing bunny? I think so. Here he is. Hmm, that's very odd, Detective B1. Kevin looks exactly like Morgan. That is Morgan, Detective B2. Kevin is the one with the floppy ears. Oh, silly me. So, does Kevin have any other friends? Well, he is friendly with Bruce. Ah, ah Bruce. Bruce. Can we talk to Bruce? If you want to. Here he is. Hello, Bruce. When did you last see Kevin? Hmm? He won't talk, Detective B1. Of course he won't talk, Bananas. He's a toy. <laughs> so he is. <laughs> bananas, we really don't think Kevin is in the house. Why not? Because Morgan was carrying Kevin around all day. So he could have left him anywhere in Cuddlestown. Aha! Then we know exactly how to find him. How? All we have to do is go everywhere that Morgan went. And we're sure to find the missing bunny. The Detective Bananas are on the case. Rat, are you awake? Oh, I was just going to sleep. Sorry, Rat, but we're on an urgent case. Kevin is missing. That's terrible. Uh, who is Kevin? Morgan's fluffy bunny. His bunny? Morgan left him here this morning. And I can't get to sleep without him. We have to search the whole shop from top to bottom. Bananas, be careful with... Never mind. Sorry, Rat. Detective work can be messy. Very messy, Detective B1. I don't think Kevin is here, Bananas. Neither do I. They could be right, Detective B1. But if he's not here, where is he? Where did you go next, Morgan? We went to Charlie's place. That's it. I'm sure I left Kevin at Charlie's place. Charlie's place it is, Detective B1. Oh, wait, Bananas. What about this mess? Oh, 
Oh, uh, sorry, Rat. Grab that broom, Detective B1. No problem, Detective B2. It's cleanup time. Oops. All right, I agree. Your detective work is far too important to waste time here. We're happy to stay and help. No, 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 no. Off you go. I insist. Thanks, Rat. Bye. 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 Oh, cheese and whiskers. So you think Morgan left a bunny here? A fluffy bunny called Kevin. And I can't go to sleep without him. I don't remember seeing him, but if you want to take a look... Thanks, Charlie. Can you see Kevin anywhere, Detective B2? No, Detective B1. Why don't we dust for paw prints? Good idea, Detective B2. What are you doing, Bananas? Looking for Kevin's paw prints. With our special paw print finding dust. But how does it work? Simple, Charlie. We just put some dust on our brush, like so. Then brush it over everything to see if Kevin's paw prints are anywhere. So we'll know if he's been here. Watch! <laughs> <coughs> Can you see any paw prints, Detective B1? I can't see anything at all, Detective B2. <coughs> <coughs> any sign of Kevin, Bananas? No, Morgan. Any sign of him over here, Teddies? No bananas. Oh, dear. So where did you go next, Morgan? Um, we just went home. <sighs> Poor Kevin. Where can he be? Don't worry, Morgan. We're sure to find him tomorrow. But what about tonight? How will I get to sleep without him? That's a problem, Detective B1. A big problem, Detective B2. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Detective B1? I think I am, Detective B2. It's bunny making time! Bunny making? We'll make you a new bunny to take to bed. A new bunny? But... That's brilliant, Bananas. I'll get some material. And I'll get the sewing kit. And we'll get some stuffing. And I'll... I'll go to my room. <sighs> huh? That's funny. Kevin! You were here all along. You naughty bunny. Wait till I tell the others. How's the bunny's head going, Teddies? Nearly finished. How's the bunny's body going, Bananas? Almost done. Bananas, look what I found. Sorry, Morgan. Can't look now. We're busy sewing the bunny's tail on. Lulu, Amy, look. Sorry, Morgan. Can't look now. We're busy making the new bunny's ears. Oh, well. Come on, Kevin. There. All done. He's perfect, Detective B1. And so cute and cuddly, Detective B2. What do you think, Morgan? Where is Morgan? I think he went to his room. Ta-da! Meet your new bunny, Morgan. Morgan? He's asleep. And look what he's cuddling. It's, it's Kevin, Kevin the Fluffy Bunny. He must have been in Morgan's bed all along. Well, Detective B1, that's another case solved. Thanks for your help, Bananas. Yes, thank you. No problem, Teddies. Actually, there is one problem, Detective B2. What's that, Detective B1? Morgan won't need this bunny now. So what will we do with it? I think I might have an idea, Detective B1. Good night, B1. Good night, B2. And, and good, good night, night, little bunny. bunny. Sweet dreams. 